Let's say we go for a walk. Ah, I gotta admit, this is nice. I don't uh, want to go to uh, the vet! The vet? No! No, Let's no, go, no. buddy. You tricked me! <sighs> First time here? Uh, yeah. Oh, Dr. Francis is the best veterinarian in the business. You're gonna love him. He specializes in behavioral disorders. But I don't have a behavioral disorder. I, I, I... Yeah, I'm fine, too. <laughs> it's my human that's nuts. I mean, you know, I, I bring her a dead bird, she throws it out. <laughs> I bring her a dead mouse right in the garbage. It's nothing I do good enough for you, mother! Okay... I run, and I run, and I run, and I run, and I get out, and I've gone nowhere. Nowhere! My owner always says, you're such a good dog, and I feel like a good dog, but what if deep down I'm a bad dog? What if I'm a bad dog? Huh? <laughs> we start fires! <laughs> that was weird. Oh, sister, it's gonna get way weirder. <laughs> I've never seen a man cup before. It's so small. Akira, why am I different? You are special, little brother. You've got hands, so let's use them. Stop! <laughs> He's not a wolf. I've seen the way you look at the village. Welcome. You are one of them. All I've ever wanted. Long. You will always be my son, Mowgli. Nothing can ever change that. The jungle is changing. Man is taking more of it. And the boy may just be our only hope of survival. We're afraid of what man might do to us. The pack needs you, Mowgli. But neither am I a wolf. Which of you will follow me? Man cub, the whole jungle has been watching you. I won't fail! Miles Morales, and in my world, I'm the one and only Spider-Man. That is, until he showed up. And it's a no on the cape. I think it's cool. Spider-Man doesn't wear a cape. Uh, All right, you ready? Ah! Ow! Ah! Hey guys. Who are you? I'm Gwen Stacy. I'm from another, another dimension. How many more spider people are there? Hey, fellas. Hello. This could literally not get any weirder. It can get weirder. My name is Peter Porker. How am I supposed to save the whole world? You can't think about saving the world. You have to think about saving one person. Miles, where did you go? Can Spider-Man turn invisible? Not in my universe. Wow, this is incredible. Some kind of fight or flight thing. What's that? Hey, Peter. I think this is a cape. Whoa. Legend tells of a lost species, a link between man and beast. 
for centuries. He's lived in hiding. But at long last, he's reaching out and ready to be found. It's still there. Excuse me. Hi. You can speak. Yes, and um, I write as well. My penmanship isn't great, but, uh, you know, opposable thumbs and fat fingers, you know. Meet Mr. Link. <laughs> you know, like, missing Link. Ah! Wait, I don't get it. I'm a pajama roll a A creature of enormous stature. <laughs> Eight feet tall. <laughs> 650 pounds. It's more like, uh, you know, 630 pounds. No, it's it's the hair that makes me look heavier, I think. It's, it's, a, it's a little deceptive. It can be frustrating. He's a link to our past. Oh. A connection to our present. Oh. And a bridge to the future. Oh. Wait a second. I said, oh, like I knew what you were talking about, but I don't. Well, I'm on my way. This spring. On the other side of the world are my cousins. Can you take me there? I know the secret ways through the mountains. Is it hot in here? By all means, crack open the wind. No. Oh, that's better. The search for his kind. I'll bring back proof of the greatest discovery of the century. Will become an adventure. Yeah. Of mythical proportions. Um... You have killed my grandmother! Quick, quick, quick! Someone should give her the kiss of life! You're the man for the job. How's my breath? <sighs> he is the missing link. Throw me out of the pit. I think you might be a little too heavy. Nonsense. Now, give it all you've got. <laughs> oh, it's hard to know whose fault that was. Let's do it again. This summer, you're invited to a magical place where weird is celebrated, strange is special, and beauty is more than meets the eye. Good morning, Uglyville! Hello, gorgeous. Let's check out how you look today. Short and stubby, nubby teeth out on full display. Your pinkish red got this thing on your head, and whoa, girl, you couldn't look better. Cause there's a scrambled sun in the day glow sky, and the mood couldn't be any brighter. And as the slam bang city goes rocketing by, so my head couldn't feel any lighter. It's like a fun house. Ugly dog is here. Story of the day of the month for the year. Here's a little scoop on the way down. No doubt. Check, check, check out the flow. The cats are rapping. Lobster snapping. But only the dog makes the party happen. So bring your paper. Seal it with the gas. It couldn't be better than this. We got our free flags flying completely on fire. And we just couldn't be more on fire. Is there anything better than this? No, it couldn't get better than. I have a feeling we're not in Uglyville anymore. Look, guys. What's perfection? Don't know, but let's go say hi. Hello. <laughs> Must be a customary greeting here. Ah! Oh. Could it be better than this? From the filmmakers of The Lord of the Rings. Strange to think this is what it looked like. That's what happens when the Earth's crust gets shattered into a thousand pieces. After the war, Cities were rebuilt on the seas, in the skies. But the deadliest ones were built on wheels. What is that? That is London. This weapon can wipe out the largest city in the blink of an eye. Not if we shut it down. You sure you want to do this? I have to. Stay out of sight 
until I give you the signal. What signal? Trust me, you'll know. I'm not that subtle. Hold on! We have to stop London before it destroys us. That plane with fire. Cut the rope! You want to die? I'm gonna live. Do it! Mortal Engines. Experience it in IMAX. Rated PG-13. Well, folks, things have a way of escalating out here in the West. You think the boy's telling the story? Well, we'll just have to see. You know the story. There are two kinds of people. Lucky and unlucky. Hale and frail. Upright and sinning. No. Dead or alive. I'd appreciate it if you'd deposit your weapon in the receptacle by the swinging doors. And if and I don't. What are you doing, Israel? Walking backwards. Don't do that. Why not? Because you ain't no outlaw. We're in for a fight. <laughs> what is your business? Well, I like to say that we're harvesters of souls. Our union is strong. It's a lie. Unemployment is the lowest in history. Everything they're telling you is a lie. It's a lie. Their power is a poison. Find the courage to resist. Join us. The match has already been lit. Watch for the signs. Wait for the signal. Be ready. The Phoenix will rise. The Phoenix will rise. The Phoenix Ha <laughs> ha.